Hello? Hello? Is someone there? This could be a way through. No mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of it. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. Oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <laughs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds of the battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <sighs> but what happened to you?
We need to find them. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Raw. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You gonna be okay? Yes, I. Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit. Uh, you sit here. I'll. Uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. So bad. I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. I mean, ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought that any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace, forgotten in time. Numbers. Some kind of coordinates. Did someone want these to be found? <sighs> Lara's having a crisis of confidence. So, for her sake, I'll keep up a happy face. But something about this expedition has been making me nervous. I have butterflies in my stomach. As we sail closer to the Dragon's Triangle, I'm starting to feel nauseous. And this isn't the excited kind of nerves. What the hell is wrong with me? I should be excited. This trip is going to be awesome. I just need to shake off this feeling. Maybe I can convince Lara to take a break and have a drink with me.
warn me about the wolves, Doctor. Japanese no actors could tilt their heads up and down to make the rigid mask express different emotions. Another shrine. Who are they worshipping? Such a drama queen. I can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot. I mean, this is his job, right? It's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition. Once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling, he'll calm down. He might be a total pain in the ass, but he knows how to work a scene. I just need to do my job and keep my cool. Lara doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. I think she's a natural. That's probably gonna drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride. Thank you. 
These are fascinating. I've seen these before. Oh, they must be ritualistic. Th this female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. <sighs> the handle's missing. Together. Oh, shit. <sighs> it won't take the force. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. Let's see if I can fix this axe. All right, Laura. Shall we give it a go then? Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you, darling, think, think before filing those papers. I've, I've sunk the last of my fortune into this expedition, but it's all going to come back tenfold. If, if you divorce me now, you won't see a penny of it. You've been with me since I was nothing. You know what I'm capable of achieving. I, I haven't lost my touch. I'm just at a low point right now. Don't you see? I'm on to something here. Laura, you remember her, my, my young protege. She has real data to back up her theories, but she doesn't have my savvy. It's, it's going to be my name on the Discovery and my face in front of the cameras. If this all pans out, the show will be huge. If you want to leave me then, I, I promise I won't fight you. But please, just wait on it. I, I can't have this kind of publicity muddling my image, please. You're ready. figure on the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko, are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine! Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <gasps> you still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. I'm handling this! No! No! no. Please! Get off! Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do, do whatever they say. Dye me your pistolet. Iti. Who are 
you people. What do you with us? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them. Don't hurt them, please. I said, silence, girl. I did yet. I напоминаешь мою сестру. Don't you fucking move. Kill them all! Hey, bring Don't up the make prisoner. us out. Yeah, I'm on it. No one escapes. Out! Вылезай! Но трать моего времени! Она тоже была порадочной стерхой.
over there. Is she dead? I don't know. Outsider, we know you're here. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> Shit, gun! Stay away from me! So what came in? Another tanker? Nah. Looked like some kind of research ship. Should be some good stuff then. We'll find out soon. We got a crew towing it in now. Think we'll get any new recruits out of this bunch? Fuck, man, I don't know. Better for them if they just die now. How do you figure? Well, how long's the last batch been in the pit? I don't know. A few weeks? Yeah, and they're probably starving by now. Nothing but blood and piss for days. Come on, what do you think's gonna happen if we throw one of those new ones in there? Oh, shit. Yeah, eat alive. Need backup! Take cover! smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh god, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I have no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try. Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, 
but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now.